Retaining your key people is the best way to ensure your company continues to grow. Today, I'm sharing three ways to keep your most valuable employees on board. If growing your business is important, these aren't things that you do someday. These are things that leaders do every single day to retain their core people. Let's dive in. I have a habit of studying successful companies. And the one thing I've noticed is that those growing the fastest put a ton of emphasis on employee retention. Retaining your top employees is a leadership priority. Today, I will unpack three tips for keeping your core team intact. Before we dive into that, I wanna highlight an important retention strategy that doesn't require the same amount of time and energy for us to unpack. That is pay them well. See, one of the most obvious ways to retain your best employees is to offer them better than average salaries and excellent benefits. I learned this early in my career when a mentor once told me that everyone uses money as an excuse. So his strategy was to simply eliminate the excuse. Some would say he overpaid his team, but he never once believed that. See, he didn't want anyone on his team to ever look over their shoulder and worry about money. He wanted their, his entire uh, team's time and energy focused on driving the business forward. The moral of the story, pay your best people well, so money is the last thing they think about. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let me share three tips for retaining your key people. The first one, assign valuable work. Your best people want to know their work matters. Give your best employees something important to own and sink their teeth into. Maybe there's a project that you can get them involved in that will further develop their skills or put them in a position to take on even more responsibilities. When you do, manage the result, not the individual steps. Let them own the details. See, this empowers your best people to make decisions and encourages them to explore, experiment, and discover new solutions. Give them the space to figure out how to solve issues themselves. Give them the freedom to experiment. It is through experimentation that we discover breakthroughs. Key people stick around because they like the work they're doing and they know the work is making a difference. The second tip is this, give your team a voice. See, the best employees all want to have a voice. They want an opportunity to offer their insight and thought leadership. Easiest way for you to do that is just solicit their input and feedback. Get their fingerprints on the challenges that you face. One of the reasons good people leave is that they often feel undervalued. They want to contribute more, yet often don't feel comfortable inserting themselves or know exactly how. So what you can do as a leader is just bounce ideas off your best employees. There's a reason they're your best. They most likely have some valuable input that you should be listening to. Or maybe they, they might discover a blind spot that you're unaware of. Giving your best employees a voice and soliciting their, uh, their input signals to them that you value what they think. The third tip is this, invest in high performers. Your best performers want an opportunity to contribute more. Identify those people and invest in them. They're your future. Invest in them before someone else does. Why? Because they're a walking billboard for the behavior and habits you want others to exhibit. These are the individuals you cannot afford to lose. You need to invest in these individuals to earn their loyalty so they invest back in you. Professional development is extremely important to high performers. Give them a permission slip to sign up for training. This is key. Because even if you're a great leader, your best people will eventually leave if they don't feel that you're invested in them and their careers. Don't overcomplicate leadership. These are simple things that every leader can and should do daily. Don't get caught up in the death spiral of retention strategies that at the end of the day, frankly, really don't matter. Instead, assign valuable work to your best people. Give them a voice and invest in their personal development. And I promise you, they will stick around. If you want more leadership insight, I would like to buy you a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment. 
how to ignite a new level of energy, focus, and momentum in yourself and your team. Follow the link in the description and I'll personally sign a copy for you. If you find yourself like being just tired, being buried in the weeds, and just you want more time back, maybe you want to do less micromanage, you want to have a team that can actually lead so you can focus on strategy and growing the business, then go to clevelfreedom.com and I'll share with you how to transform your mid-level leaders into growth champions so they free up your time to do to focus on doing what you love, which is growing the business. Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor and give it a like, drop a comment below, and of course subscribe because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. We'll talk to you soon.